In 1689, an old man mysteriously appears in Boston as a champion or savior for oppressed people. He stands up to Boston's cruel governor appointed by England's king, James II. Boston's tyrant is Sir Edmund Andros. The hero is nameless. Gray hair reflects old age. He is unknown in Boston and uses old-fashioned words like air, wust, and ye. It seems he hasn't spoken in many years or doesn't care that language has been modernized. Has he been in hiding for decades or away in heaven? In 1649, 40 years earlier, this nameless man had been in London and helped put to death King Charles I. We know that since he brags that he hindered or stayed the march of a king. But now, the unpopular James II rules England and New England. This Catholic king is called Popish, which means a follower of the Pope. Both king and pope were distrusted by Protestants. The text states that mobs or riots start only in times of extreme and cruel conditions. The anger of a mob is difficult to kindle or start. Rioting is not natural, but once a mob starts rioting, a mob is hard to stop. Three kings of England are mentioned in the text. King Charles I had his head chopped off during England's 1649 revolution. A Puritan government then ruled, but eventually failed. In 1685, James II, son of Charles I, became king and wanted revenge on men who killed his father. Some of these men escaped by going to Boston across the ocean. Fellow Puritans hid them. Another revolution convulsed England. James II was chased off his throne. Boston, likewise, revolted against the governor in Boston. William, a Protestant, became king of England.